<laughs> and decided to watch. Like a mouth to a plant. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why I get frisky when I'm looking at the polar bears, but I did. And all of a sudden it hit me. Because by this time, I had a job. I now got this guy that obviously likes me, although I don't know why. And I had spent the last $200 I had on a car. $200. Yeah, it was a Pontiac. It had a 404 barrel in it. It would pass anything except a gas station. <laughs> and with all those hills in, uh, in, in Cincinnati, I mean, you step on the gas and you could just watch the gas gauge go. And, and we were moving in together. And I'm sorry, Mama. Oh, shit. Chuck. <laughs> now, this is no problem. I can't get into ministry. I'll just tell Bill that promise. I'll tell him that story. And we'll see. I thought he was going to tell me there was no place to go. I tell him that whole story. Now, I want to tell you something. When you're dating somebody, this is not the thing you should probably tell a person within the first few months that you're with them, that you're raving nuts. Okay? But I did. And I thought that he would tell me there was no place we could go, or he would tell me I was crazy, let's just move on. He looked at me and goes, well, there's MCC. Uh, MCC? Metropolitan, Metropolitan Community Church. Church. He says, we can go if you want to go. Really? Yeah. So we go, we get there late. Now, brothers and sisters, this is the important part of this, because this is where my eyes started to open up. I walked into that church service, we were late. The very first words I heard, because they were reading the Old Testament reading for the day as part of the service, the very first words that I heard was, Behold, I have done this new thing. Do you not perceive it? Am I running really late? Yeah. How, how far? It's almost five. Huh? You're good. Okay. I'm almost done. That was the first thing I heard, right? right? And then, of course, if you look around the, the sanctuary, it was so cool because it was boy, boy, girl, and girl sitting with each other. That was cool. And then they got to communion. And the pastor, he was a flaming queen. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was dressed to the nines and just, you know, all of this stuff. And, and, uh, so when it came time for communion, I looked at Bill and I said, oh no, we're not going. Yeah. I didn't want to interrupt, I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that lunch is on the way. It's probably like they're running a little late. Oh, they're late too. Yeah. Why well, hell are they late? Yeah. So. See yeah. how God works? <laughs> yeah. See how God works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so when we go get ready for communion, I'm not going to go. Because in MCC, if you've ever been to MCC, they give you communion. And then everybody drapes themselves all over each other. I didn't want that flaming faggot all over me. <laughs> all right? But now, Bill being Bill, and you have to meet him someday just to understand this, he puts his head on my shoulder in the pew and he goes, but maybe it can be our first communion together. <laughs> <laughs> So I grab his hand, we're in an Episcopal church, and we're walking up that center aisle. Now, I will admit that this was kind of my moment to the church, because the church didn't fall down. And I, as we're walking up the aisle, I said, we're not going to that flamethrower. And Billy says, you're not going to have a choice. It's just out of the line. I'm not going to that flamethrower. Well, we'll see. And we get up there. Who's the first one that's open? The flamethrower. Flame and he starts to pray. This is the end of my story. This man has never met me. Doesn't know the first thing about me. He's only met Bill once. And I found this out later. And the reason that Bill never went back there was because during community he tried to tongue Bill. Uh, tried to pick him up. But this day... He ignores Bill. And he does this prayer. And the end of the prayer from this guy who does not know me says, God, let your servant know that he has come home 
and he no longer needs to be afraid to answer his call. Mm -hmm. oh. I was a wreck. But I need to tell you, that's how faith works. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Even when you don't think you're living all that well. That's right. Keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. Just like the prodigal son. When you're long, long ways off, God will come to you and embrace you oh, yeah. and throw a party. Mm -hmm. Be faithful, my friends, mm -hmm. because God loves each and every one of you. Yes. God bless you. Yes. Organized with a meal, then uh, when she comes, we get to go right into it, okay? Well, let's grow up so and uh, say our prayer. And what I what I love about Pastor Paul, I just hear him say how open arms and a meal, but it's not that ring on your fingers. Oh, yeah? Well, yes. Y'all know I got married, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And he gave me diamonds. I'll tell you who the queen is. All right. <laughs> Guys, you know, we 